Hey, my name is Roy Ne. I'm the executive chef here in Noir, Sydney, in Surrey Hills. And what we do here is taking uh, Middle Eastern flavors and put a little twist on them. A lot of old stories, old flavors, old uh, markets, and all this history done in a little bit of a modern way. What you can see here, we're using all the new techniques and all the new equipment in the restaurant. So over there, you can see in the far back, we've got a wood fire oven, which we use our special wood just for it. We've got all the chrome top grill, the charcoal grills, the sous vide machine, and we're doing all of that basically to highlight those ancient flavors and ancient technique uh, and with modern technique. To choose the wood here in Noir, it took about a two week process of testing different woods. Woods got different oil content in them and they can carbonate very easy, which dries off the dries off the meat basically inside. So what we chose here in Noir, we do a combination of a little bit of sous vide in before, some overnight and some for a certain amount of time, and then we finish it in the wood fire oven and that maximizes, you get the caramelization on the meat, but you also have this tender piece of meat that everybody as a customer are looking for. So we're using iron bark from WA, we find that particular wood, they actually um, dry it for us before it comes in. We find this uh, particular wood works really well with the style of the cooking that we created here. Um, I went to many, many restaurants when they're using um, citrus wood or fruity wood with your peach, orange. Um, we tried all of them, strawberry wood, we even tried strawberry wood. We've tried all of them. We had the oven get basically carbonated. It takes all the oxygen out and dries the food and we found it very bitter and unpleasant. Um, and yeah, we find this wood for everyday use is very, very good for us. I think doing a restaurant in 2016, 2017 in Sydney, it's all about open kitchen. There's no more hiding. People want to see exactly where it is. They want to see where the produce is. So what we've done here, as you can see behind, people basically sit right here and the chef is here all the mise en place, so there's no hiding. They basically set it up the way you set it, the way you set up a TV show. A chef have to be in such a standard when it's all for show. Uh, we'll serve here on a Friday, Saturday night, over 200 people. Um, as you know, any kitchen, there can be conflicts, there can be a lot of docket, there is stress involved. We had to come up with techniques, how to avoid all of that and still give them a little bit of a show, but reacts on time and flavors and the plating that we're trying to achieve here in the restaurant. And we're doing all of that while people sitting basically half a meter away from us, looking at us and hearing. There is no barriers, they can hear anything. When we designed the restaurant here in Noir, we had to design it in a way where we use a little bit less pots and pans during service um, because of those reasons of people sitting here and there's no, as you can see, there is no wash up next to us. The wash up is actually in a different room. And we had to be very smart of how we design in this basically kitchen that can react with everything we wanted to react, but still give us the food that we wanted to give. And what we've done with that, we're working, yes, with the steamer, we're working with the sous vide, um, we do work with the pens, but not as much, okay? That's why everything goes into the wood fire oven in a special tray that was designed for that and goes straight from the wood fire oven into the customer. Brought to you by Cookers, the future of cooking oils.